yes, as you can all tell, all you fellow listeners, there is there is something we do need to discuss today, uh, which is our Madam Web stuff. I, I know we got other topics first, but do you want to just jump right to it, Raul? All right, screw it. Let's just jump Let's right do- into Madam Web. Why not? Why freaking not? Let's, Let's talk about this. We have to talk about this, guys. We got to talk about Madam Web. We got to talk about Sony. All right. We got to um, talk about Sony. You want to take it or should I take it? No, no. After you, please. By all, all means. Right. So, of course, Madam Web came out uh, what, what, how many days ago? Like what? Wednesday on this... Valentine's Day. Uh, <laughs> that was three days ago? What a romantic time. Uh, what a romantic film to put this out in. Uh, Kevin, have you seen Madam Web yet? Absolutely not. Neither have I. <laughs> oh, but God. I don't even know if I'm going to see it. At least my, my wife wants to hate watch it. So maybe I might hate watch it with my wife. This movie has come out on Wednesday, and it's just gotten so critically panned. Um, and, I mean, are we surprised? Uh, everything, all the signs were pointing to uh, it being a bad movie. The studio clearly didn't feel confident enough to show us more, show us another trailer, and with the review embargo going up like the day before or something like that, it just, it, there was no faith in anybody that this movie was going to be good. And then finally it came out, people started watching it, and the review, the reviews come in, and of course, it's bad. Everybody thinks it's bad. For the most part, mm. uh, people think it's bad. So let's read into the... Here's an article from The Hollywood Reporter, all right? Madam Web was finally revealed to the public Monday night after the Sony Marvel film held its premiere in Los Angeles, and the first reactions have already hit social media. The superhero movie stars Dakota Johnson in the title role, a woman who develops psychic abilities. The cast also includes Sidney Sweeney, Celeste O'Connor, Isabella Merced, Tahir Rah- Tahir Rah- Tahir Rahim, Mike Epps, Emma Roberts, and Adam Scott. Directed by S.J. Clarkson, Madam Webb was written by Clarkson, Matt Sazma, Burke Sharpless, and Claire Parker. So here's the... the let's get, let's uh, skip ahead a little bit, all right? Okay, Full okay. reviews for Madam Webb Web dropped on Tuesday morning with the Hollywood Reporter's review calling the film an airless and stilted endeavor. And Lavia, Gir- I'm going to butcher this, Girkai writing that its lack of imagination would be astounding if it wasn't so expected. Read on for a sampling of the first reactions from the film after the premiere before all the reviews came in. So then you continue on, and then here's just a, a, all the, uh, you know, a, a, a barrage of Twitter reviews coming out on the day. Uh, so from Matt Ramos, Morbius was better. From Chris Parker, Madam Web is an embarrassing mess. Talented stars wasted on probably the worst comic book movie I've ever seen. Filled with atrocious dialogue, awkward editing, and all-around laughable structure. I sat there baffled, scene by scene. Someone approved this. The memes will redeem it. <laughs> Uh, James Preston Poole, Madam Web is totally fine. There's really not a lot to say here. The leads are charming. Dakota Johnson is a witchy weirdo. The slasher slash Final Destination meets superheroes vibe are there, uh, but there's just not a whole lot to it. Not a disaster, just kind of there. Uh, that's kind of a mediocre kind of response. Uh, the Hollywood Handle, Madam Web is a clunky, poorly written mess and sloppy movie packed with some mediocre editing and performances. Even though it had solid cinematography and an interesting concept, it couldn't be saved due, its, due to its terror execution um, and it just goes on and on and on and on this movie for the most part is just not liked uh, I don't want to say hated because I guess that's too strong or maybe I'll say hated. a lot of people hate this movie um, oh boy. Kevin we're talking about a movie from Sony you know Sony lately has not had a great run with their kind of spin-off Spidey verse uh, live action at least um, except for maybe Venom. Venom did really well. But ever since then, they've been struggling. They got Morbius, uh, not Morbius, they got Craven the Hunter coming out soon, and then supposedly they're still going forward with El Muerto. What's going on, Kevin? What 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 is what is the state of Sony right now based on what is this what this is telling us? What do you think? This alone makes me feel like they're only making these movies just because they're contractually obligated to make Spider-Man movies due to the fact that if they don't, they'd give the rights back to Marvel Studios yeah. or Disney. Uh so that is the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear this crazy news about Madam Web. But also, all right, listen, I have like a like a like a spider sense, I would say, oh. <laughs> about this where <laughs> whenever I watch a trailer, I just know how bad it's going to be or how good it's going to be. And usually I'm right. Like I go watch the movie and I'm like, "Yep, yeah, it's exactly what I thought I was going to be." Cool. They they gave me what I thought I was getting. And uh this movie, I saw the trailer and my gut 
was pulling me down going, no, don't, it's not, no, no, it's not going to work, dude, no. But I was trying to be so hopeful and say, no, please, please, it could, it could be good. It could be all right. Because you know me, I'm, a, I'm like a glass half full kind of guy. You and very so much are, yes. We see this, this news come out and people talking about it. People are saying it's worse than Morbius. Oh my God, Jesus. I, I didn't believe that could be possible. Fun story about Morbius. When I went to go watch Morbius, I remember I sat next to this couple and the, the there was this guy and his, and his girlfriend and the dude smelled like crap the entire movie. It was, he smelled so bad that I thought it was a representation of what I was watching at the same time. So <laughs> Morbius was crap. So if that's the case, I can't imagine who's going to sit next to me when I watch Madam Web, dude. <laughs> it's going to be awful. It's just going to be like some some dude drenched in trash, you know, just sitting next to me. Somebody who just rolled around in pig feces or something. Exactly. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yes. So that's, yes. I, God, I really wanted to give Madam Web a chance. But now that I've heard all this news, like there's this part of me that wants to push back so badly. But I also, I just think Sony has to start getting their shit together you know they, i think they need to under, understand that we're not just trying to make money quote unquote like you're trying to make things that have to be good for the for the quality style of superhero films that we always receive for the most part um and listen that's not to say that sony alone has been doing poorly in their superhero stuff i mean you've got movies like aquaman marvel's kind of been falling down a little bit with their with their ant-man movie and uh you know a couple of other ones that they've got here Every bad movie that's been coming out recently, there's been a lot in a row that have been coming uh, out. I think it's safe to say, though, that even though I haven't seen Madam Web, I think it's safe to say that Madam Web is probably better than the worst Marvel movie. I, I, I don't It's just the, the, the way it sounds to me. You think Madam know. Web is better than the worst Marvel movie? So even better than Wait, Thor Dark World? I'm sorry. You mean the other way around? No, I mean the other way around. The, Madam worst, Web... the worst Marvel movie is still better than Madam Web. Yes, that's, that's what, what I meant to say. Okay, okay. That's what oh, I meant to man, say. you scared no, no, me no, for no, a second. No, no, no. Even, I'm saying, yeah, even the worst <laughs> Marvel movie is still better than Madam Web. I feel confident in saying that, having not seen Madam Web. Yes, that that's understandable. Yes, I agree. Dark World is probably better than Madam Web, I'm sure. Again, you know, you're, we're people who haven't seen this movie yet, so we can't say our exact opinion on it other than what we've been hearing. But I, ah, I almost, I don't want to watch this movie, but I also kind of really do because I knew it would drive some of our buddies crazy if we forced them to go watch it with us. <laughs> I, I wonder great. if it's, I wonder if it's just, I wonder if I'll still enjoy it because it's so bad it's good. I don't, I still can't get a gauge from anybody whether it's just so bad it's bad or so bad it's good. If it's so bad it's good, I don't know, maybe it'll be a fun time at the movie theater. Just hate watching this thing. <laughs> Uh, I, I was also on Twitter last night, and I saw somebody posting on Twitter, no spoilers or anything. I mean, it was a spoiler for me, but, you know, I won't spoil it for you guys. Uh, the guy basically wrote on, on Twitter, like, here's ten things that happen in this movie, and one of them is a lie. You tell me which one's a lie. And I read through the list, and as I kept reading this list of things that happened throughout the movie, I'm like, no. No, that doesn't happen. No. Oh, God, No. No! No! You know, just screaming to the heavens. How does he do it? Um, <laughs> <laughs> a little but, prestige reference. A little prestige right there. Uh, but yeah, I, I think... I, this, how? How does, how does this movie happen? How do, we, how do we come to this conclusion? How do we come to this moment in time that this yeah. is the movie Sony wants to put out? I what? Like Raul? Okay, let me ask you this, Raul. Mm. Are you excited about Craven the Hunter? No, I am not. I, I can feel I was maybe a little bit interested, even though the trailer didn't really do too much to convince me. Do you know why they call me the rhino? This not yeah, it was uh, oh God. There I feel was like nothing it, Yeah. It, no, go ahead, go ahead. You you keep going. You keep going. No, I mean whatever little interest I had in Craven is all gone now. I, I, I just it's it's clear to me that Sony just doesn't give a crap anymore and they're just not they're not even trying to make good movies. It, it doesn't, it just seems like, again, like you said, Kevin, they just want to hang on to the rights. And, and it's just so disappointing to see that they're just like, it, it's almost like the Corman Fantastic Four movie where they just made a crappy film 
and just to hold on to the rights. What but the thing with that movie, they didn't even release it. Mm. You know, you'd think that maybe Sony would have at least had the the I don't know the intelligence to be like, you know what, it's a bad movie, so let's just not release it and have you know have a tax write off and then keep the keep the rights. It, my I, only thought is is that oh, but it's interconnected with our next movie, so we have to use it. Is it though? And I'm like, is it? And how? I don't, I don't even know what the end credit thing is for this movie yet. So for all we know, it could be a new Spider-Man shows up at the very end or something like that, or or Morbius shows up and goes, "It's Morbin time," and then they're like, "Ah, let's Morb." What you know? What are they even building to? That's the thing. I don't even know what they're doing. They're they're the they had. Venom and Venom 2, which were which were okay. I, I like the first Venom a little more than Venom Let There Be Carnage. Then they got then they crap out Morbius, which was awful. And then this movie. And then uh, you know what where is where are we headed with the Sony Sony verse? We talked about it last episode. There's no creative force in charge over at Sony who's driving these things and, and there's no indication of what they're planning on doing. There's mm. no indication of that at all. And then Craven the Hunter's coming out, and Muerto, like, what is going on? It's just all over the place. I mean, if, what if are they anything, building to? The only connection so far I've seen is the end of Morbius, where, you know, uh, Vulture shows up and goes, Eh, I don't know why I'm here. It's got something to do with this Spider-Man fella. You wanna team up? And the doctor's like, hell yeah, it's Morbin time. <laughs> It and then, means like, nothing, though. It's all, all I can see is a multiversal Sinister Six, which they should have just done that for No Way Home. We've said this a million times. Come on, Sony, get it together. They were close. They almost got there. Let me I ask like, you, Kevin. Oh, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, I feel bad because Sony, while they do put out some good Spider-Man stuff, I mean, Spider-Verse, Spider-Man 1 and 2 with Sam Raimi. I mean, The animated stuff, yeah. The animated stuff's pretty cool. I mean... While they do do that, uh, it also feels like they're squeezing it dry, hoping to get the best out of it. Just because, like, dude, you just shared your your favorite action figure with Marvel Studios by giving them Spider-Man. And then now you're giving yourself a rule saying, and we can't use our Spider-Man for our movies anymore until Marvel's done using them. So we're going to just play with our other toys that no one else wants to play with. Why? Yeah. Like, just, just, just keep working with them and just... Pump out a Spider-Man movie as much as you can with Marvel and give them more money or something. I don't know what you got to do, I'll, but it's, I'll uh... tell you why. I'll tell you why because whenever their their view is probably that whenever this deal with Marvel is done, they have an established interconnected universe that they can bring their Spider-Man back into. And but but the, the, the universe that they're establishing does not have good foundations. There's you know there's nothing. There's no consistency at all, and we don't even know what the, what they're doing. Um, Plus, you know, Madam Web, like you're, Madam Web, never even had her own uh, comic series. You know, like yeah. why why Madam Web? Uh, I don't know. It just feels like they're just grasping at straws here. Let me ask you, Kevin. What does Sony do now? I mean, because I, I don't know. I'm at the point where I'm like, should they just give? <laughs> should they just sell Spider Man back? To Marvel, I feel like they should, because what else are they gonna do? What else are they gonna do after, after the critical mess that this movie is, and they got Craven the Hunter? I, I don't see that anybody's got any goodwill towards Sony. Should they give them? Should they give Spider Man back? Is it I time? Think, I think they throw in the towel. Spider Verse Three is gonna basic. It's gonna make everybody go, "Oh, so cool, Sony! Great job, Sony!" And then they're gonna go, "See, see, we're good at what we do." Here's Craven. And then Craven's even worse than Madam Web. And then we all go, oh, yeah. And then they go, but look, we've got Spider-Verse 1, 2, and 3. Okay, then just stick to animation, Sony. Why don't you just do that? Just stick to the animated universe and do things with that, you know? Get Chris Miller. Uh, I'm forgetting all their names right now. The guys who make Spider-Verse. Phil, Phil Lord and Chris Miller. That's the one. Phil Lord and Chris Miller, get them to just work on a multiversal Spider-Verse universe together. Um, put it on a streaming service and then call it a day. You know, just give us give us something that they want to work on. The problem is that they don't have people in line that want to make this the best it can possibly be. Let me take that back because I don't want to insult any artists here. I know the writers for this, for Madam Web are getting a lot of crap. Um, Same writers as Morbius. Every, yeah, 
but it's it's yeah. this is something you know I, I will give a shout out to John Campia from YouTube here who has said this type of thing multiple times and I agree with him which is you are not putting yourself in the road of success by going back and going let's see what has not worked let's continue to use the people that have not let this stuff work so like if you're going back and looking at the writers from morbius going well they made that universe so we gotta keep them no look at how much money it didn't make go back get new writers make sure you have casting you're casting good actors who want to work on these movies i think the problem might be that maybe the people they, they were hoping to hire don't want to work with them because they're like, no, that's not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's just, that's just Sony trying to save their rights. And that's basically, I don't know, the heart's not there. You know what I mean? It's not there. Yeah. And I feel like that's a problem that they need to start focusing on. You can't just be making these movies thinking that there's a plan. Who's the person making the plan? Amy Pascal? Is Amy Pascal putting things together like we were saying last episode she seems like more the business side of it you need we need a creative yeah you no know? we need a, a a james gunn a kevin feige we need somebody in that position to help guide it creatively and and, and narratively you know build the story out we don't it doesn't seem to me like we have anybody there yeah well <sighs> also let me let me throw in that the when the first trailer for madam webb came out uh dakota johnson who plays madam webb apparently switched agencies uh right after <laughs> like almost immediately afterwards she yeah. announced that she was moving to a different agency she's like which, clearly you've done nothing for me i'm oh my god like can you imagine you made me just, take this role if i was dakota johnson and i saw that trailer and i went oh no i'm out of here guys like i'm sorry why would you do this to me my god but even she's been like if you listen to her interviews i know she's just a genuinely awkwardly funny person in in general um but she also kind of gives me a, a bit of an, you know, I'm, I'm uncomfortable about this whole thing and I don't want to be here kind of situation. But, hey, listen, if you did Fifty Shades of Grey, I, I, don't think, I don't think anything should make you that uncomfortable at this point. But, like, Madam Web, I mean, that's another thing. <laughs>